Are you a creative person that's always coming up with new ideas and things that you want to do? Maybe when you're out for a walk or at a coffee shop. You might be a student that's attending lectures. You want to pay full attention to the lecture, but you also want to have notes so that you can study later on and really make sure you're learning the material. You might be the type of person that attends a lot of different meetings. You want to be fully present in those meetings, but you also want to keep track of what was being talked about. You want to summarize the meetings and you want to have action items that come out of those meetings. Well, for a lot of people, the way that they keep track of all of this, this incoming information while still remaining present in the moment is to use a recording device to capture audio and then they use that audio to create those summaries and those different plans of the different things they want to do. Now you can go out and you can get a professional high grade audio device such as this Zoom H6. This is a great audio device, there's a lot going for it but it's also quite large so you're not going to put this in your pocket and you're not going to carry it around with you everywhere you go. So it's a great device but it has some limitations. You might decide to go and get a device that does fit in your pocket. Now this is a great device as well but in order to use it you have to take it out of your pocket, you have to turn it on, you have to make your recording, then you have to go back to your computer, you have to transfer your recording to the computer, you have to process the recording. So there's a lot of friction with this device, it's not as immediate. In this video, we're going to look at something that provides all of the benefits of recording the meetings and the ideas that you have, but it takes away all of the limitations of these traditional recording devices. It's called the Plause Note. It's a very interesting little device, and in this video, we're going to look at how it works, how we set it up, and how it uses artificial intelligence to really become a valuable tool in your productivity and learning toolkit. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Frank. I have a master's degree in learning and technology from Royal Roads University. I've been teaching technology for over 25 years. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer and a certified Cisco Academy instructor. And here on this channel, we look at how we can use technology to learn and teach and be more productive. Let's go take a look at the PLAS note and what comes in the box when we first get one and do an overview of the hardware. The Plod Note consists of the device itself as well as a subscription for AI. So you're going to get three months free. When we open up the box, we'll just remove these tabs here. So we'll make sure that those are out of the way. And we'll have the device and some accessories inside the box. So again, we have that three months of free subscription to do the transcription. We'll get the instructions. There's a uh, symbol that we can go in. We can take that QR code. Uh, get a website, download the app. I just went into the app store and grabbed the app that way. And here's the device itself. You can see it's quite small. It weighs about three grams in total. So it's very, very small and light device. And the device, that's, that's all there is to it. You can use the device just like that. But there are some accessories that will be important. So first of all, we get a little holder. So this is our MagSafe holder. And then of course we get the charging cable. It is a proprietary charging cable or a specific type of charging cable. So you want to make sure you put that somewhere safe. And then we get a USB to USB-C adapter. So depending on the type of charging we have, we can use either. With the case, we get the sticker, which is the MagSafe adapter. So you'll peel off the back and you'll attach it to your phone or to your phone case, whichever you prefer. And that will allow me to have the device with me at all times. The device itself just slides right into the holder. The holder attaches to the phone and we use our buttons to control the recording. Let's go take a look at that. Now that I've unboxed the Plaus Note, I've put the MagSafe ring onto my iPhone case. I'm going to take the MagSafe holder and I'm going to put the Plaus Note into the holder. It's quite a snug little fit, but it allows me to now put it onto the back of my phone. Now I have this with me wherever I go and we're going to very quickly set it up so that I can then start using it right away. I've downloaded and installed the app from the App Store and when I launch the app, it's just waiting to find my Plaus unit. So I'll turn on the unit. Once I've turned on the unit, it's going to say, let's connect. I'm going to connect, click the connect button. It's going to use Bluetooth to connect up to the Plaus unit. It sees it. I'll hit the connect button. 
and here we go. I've now got it all connected and I'm ready to start recording. The device itself, I have it in the MagSafe case, so I could have it on the back of my phone, but you can also move it around. You don't have to use it directly connected to your phone. Um, it's Bluetooth, so as long as I'm within Bluetooth range, I'm good to go. The controls are incredibly simple. There's really two modes, and that's determined by this toggle switch. If I have it in the up position where you see the red, I'm in phone call recording mode. Now I'm recording phone calls. If I have it in the down position, I'm in recording mode, I'm recording audio. Now, if I press this button on the side once, I'll feel a single vibration, that means I'm recording. If I press and hold it again, I'll feel two vibrations, that means I've stopped recording. And that's it. So I have my phone call, press and hold, single vibration, recording, press and hold, two vibrations, I've stopped recording, regular note taking, press and hold, single vibration, recording, press and hold, two vibrations, I've stopped recording. Now the real power comes after I've captured that audio file and the software processes it for me. Let's go have a look at that. So I have the pause note, I'm going to put it on the back of my phone. It doesn't add a lot of depth to the phone, but I can now do recording anytime I'd like. So I'm just going to go in, and you can record separate as well, but I'm going to go in and I'm just going to press the button till I feel a single vibration, and that means that the recording is started. You'll see an indicator light on the back as well, and I'm going to talk about some ideas that I have to make my cats happy. So start recording, indicator light is on, and now I'm going to talk about my cats and how I'd like to make my cats happy. I have two cats. One's a black cat named Blossom. She's a female. And then I have another little gray tabby cat named Peanut. I love my cats very much and I want to make them happy. So there's three ways that I think I can make them happy. The first way is to play with them a lot and I want to make sure that I get them a lot of different toys so I can play with them. The second way I can make them happy is to make sure that I give them a lot of affection and to do that I'm going to pet them every day and I'm going to brush them and I'm going to make sure that they're happy. And then the third thing I'm going to do to make my cats happy is I'm going to feed them because cats love food. I'm going to feed them their regular food in the morning and in the afternoon and then I'm also going to give them a snack in the afternoon, some little treats that they like. And that's how I'm going to take care of my two cats and I'm really looking forward to it. I better make sure that I do that every day, every day of the week and even on the weekends. I pressed and held the button until I felt two vibrations and now I have that recording. In the Plaza application, you can see that I'm connected, so I have my Plaza note connected, and you can see that the recording I just created is at the top. If I go into the recording, you'll notice that I have a transcript, I have a summary, and I can even create a mind map. I could listen to the recording, so it's going to play. So what I can do is I can generate a transcript, so you can see I've got a transcript here, I'll generate that, and then I can do a summary here. So this could be something like a consulting meeting, a report meeting, a discussion meeting, or task assignment. Let's say this was a consulting meeting. I was consulting with myself on how to make my cats happy. I can choose the AI model. I can choose speaker labels. Um, and basically what's going to happen is you'll have all of this information depending on your subscription. You get three months free. I'm going to generate the transcript now. So now it's gone through. It's done a transcription of everything that I covered in my discussion about making sure my cats were happy. The transcription is complete. I can get a summary of the meeting or generate a summary of what my ideas were around keeping my cats happy. And this is very handy. So there's some background, Q&A to make the cats happy and all the information there. I have some action items in here as well. And then I can even generate a mind map on how to keep my cats happy and make sure that my cats will be happy. There's a little bit of editing that I might do in here in order to make it exactly the way that I want it, but the bulk of the work has been done by using the recording and then using the auto transcript, the summary, and the mind map function. There's going to be some folks that say, well, why not just record on your phone? But remember, this is just one button that I press and I'm recording right away. And then it does all of that transcription, that summary, that mind mapping. So I'm pretty impressed with the device. Just press the button whenever I'm out for a walk and capture ideas. And flip that switch and I can record phone calls. 
With that, be careful. Make sure that you're in an area where you're legally able to do that. In some areas, you cannot record a phone call without the other person's consent. So that's up to wherever you live. There are a few things that I still want to test out with the unit. I'll be using it for the next couple of weeks to see how the battery holds out. I also want to bring it into a, a lecture room where it's a bit noisier, see how that works. I would also like to bring it into a meeting with multiple speakers, see how that works. And um, I can also place it in a different location. So I could put it in the middle of a table, for example, in a meeting, and then it'll capture it to my phone. But I'm gonna try it for walking right now. I'm gonna go out for some walks, and I'm going to capture some ideas on the go. I think it's gonna work really good for that. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like, subscribe for more technology that we use to learn and teach and be more productive. And we'll see you in the next video.